It's gonna be awesome. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Elena, and this is Rally, and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. Good morning you guys. So I'm just packing everything away in the saloon and we are heading out the inlet. Apparently it's 25 knots of wind out there but it doesn't look it right now. It's calm and delish in here. And Raleigh's really looking forward to the sail today. He said it a few times this morning. Why are you looking forward to the sail? There's going to be a nice wind. About okay. 25 knots. It's going to be awesome. Alright. There's a bit of mud on it but not too much. You should be off in a sec. Just saw a mast sticking up out of the water, Elena. Really? Yeah. Oh no. It's always sad, hey? Yeah. Good morning, Lenny. We haven't had much time to hang out today, have we? Say good morning, Dada. <laughs> <laughs> so we have set sail. We're off. We're making about nine knots. Uh, it's very flat water because it's an offshore breeze. And we are hammering down the coast, nearly 10 knots a lot of the time. And uh, I am pretty, pretty happy. Lenny's been really behaving himself. Uh, he's, from about four o'clock in the morning, he's not sleeping, or even three last night, but he's generally pretty well behaved. Yeah, I had to look after him from about four until eight the other morning. But because we can take it in turns, we are getting a bit of a sleep. A huge weight off my shoulder was the fact that Will was able to get a fair bit of work done on the boat whilst I was away. There was just a a couple of little things that I really wanted done whilst I was back in Australia. My confidence in the boat has just gone up that another notch. Just those little niggling jobs that you are in the back of your mind, a couple of them have been done so I was just like, I feel very, very unbelievably extraordinarily free. Like I could just take this thing anywhere with my family. Don't lose your carrot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering how much baby stuff is going to be in these videos. If there's anyone out there that doesn't like babies, I apologise, but Lenny's kind of the boss now. We can't really, we can't really hide him. <laughs> We're trying to show a balanced thing, but you never know when you're filming what you're filming most of. Yeah, let us know. Is there too much of Lenny in the show? Should we put more in there? All right, what's the deal? I didn't want to leave until the sun was up. Because of that, the wind had blown a little bit offshore. We missed it, and we missed it, and we missed it. And I couldn't head far enough downwind with the wind speed that we had. So we had to hug the coast, and we won't get to our destination that I was planning on getting to today. We'll have to make a new plan. We'll either do an overnight sail or another little hop down the coast here. But I think Lenny wants to do an overnighter. More baby spam? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We've got some shallow reefs coming up ahead, so we're going to drive the boat, which entails winding out the head sail, winding in the code D, driving and then rolling it all out again. Now, if you see that fin, 
Anna is a sunfish. Or shark? Oh my gosh, it's a shark! Oh my! Oh no, it's a sunfish. Wow! Did you see the size of that? What are you up to here, Captain? Well, this is twisted. Very, very occasionally at the top of the um, main sheet, there can be like a bend, like a backwards bend. But we took the mainsail down because it was bent. And now Riley's found another job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is always the way. These are just twisted, that's all. All that was was a twist in the a, a twist in the rope, which was causing friction when we were hoisting the main. This bit here, I think there's a rope. I think there's a rope that I need to. I think we can hoist it again now. What are you up to? This is a sail, right? This is a mast. There are battens that run along a sail to help it. Batten was the word I was after. Was it? Yeah, I said bar. <laughs> to help it maintain its shape. Now there's a line that goes along just underneath there through a block and, and down and it's tied off down here. Mucking around up here there's certain bits of rope that make the top of the that make the square top main hold its shape but eventually I figured out that I had to loosen this off by an inch Loosen what off by an inch? Loosen this rope yep. here that runs underneath the top button yep. so that um, it was a little bit too short. So it was holding the button with a bow in it yeah. too tight, you know what I mean, Elena? Yeah. So that when we jived, the, the um, sail wouldn't pop over and um, go into a, a nice shape on the other side. It would, it would keep the same bow in it. Um, so I just loosened that off and now it pops over beautifully. Easily. Yeah. Nice, because that's happened a few times, hey? We've played around with the main sheet instead. Yeah, I keep looking up here, because there's different bits of Dyneema um, that keep the square top main in shape, but it was this rope down here. There you go. Learn something new every day. There you go. There you go. I'm sorry for swearing about that sunfish, but honestly, for a minute there, it looked like a big, great white shark. You could see the white, like, the, it really? looked like, yeah, I bet if I play that clip again, some of you guys will agree with me, it looked like a huge head of a great white shark. But it was just a big, beautiful, slow sunfish. So you guys, over the past few days, we have sailed. We left Charleston here, South Carolina. We went and stayed in South Creek, for two nights on Seabrook Island in there and today we've come out and we were going to go over here um, but the winds really died off so we've decided to well we jibed and now we are heading out to sea and we're going to sail overnight down the coast here not sure where we'll end up we're in a huge like shipping area look at all this crazy. Yeah, there's so many ships, so I'm just keeping watch. Riley's having a snooze, Lenny is still asleep. And it's really, really nice. I love it when we're going downwind because you can open up these hatches and there is so much sea life in this water. Like, it's unbelievable. This is a good spot if it was rough. Yeah. If you're traveling alone, come with me. Pack your bags, leave a note, and we'll be free. I heard Melvin's pretty. Riley! But darling, Riley! So what are you doing? I can't hear you, babe. I'm listening to rage. So we'll go to the country. What? What are you doing? Singing. Singing song. I'm putting the code. Zero up. What are you doing? Uh, editing with Lenny. How's Lenny going? He's being very disruptive. Disruptive influence in the saloon. Yeah. I'll write him up a note. He needs one. 
Which you need lots of attention today, don't you? Don't you? So we'll go to Sydney and we'll cross the bridge. Oh, whoa. So we were motoring at six knots, but the wind, uh, it actually didn't pick up. It just went from behind us to on a beam, which meant that the apparent wind speed was enough that when we threw up the code zero, which I have just done here, we're, we're able to get six knots or 5.2 in about six knots of wind. So the wind is coming from there, but it feels like it's coming from there and uh, we're going along beautifully. It's, it's, um, when we use this sail, it's, it's the most fun one that we've got, but I get a lot more use and a lot more speed out of the Code D. Yeah, this would probably be my favorite. It's just a blade. Back to work, you two. Stop disrupting the class, Lenny. <laughs> and so for those of you who aren't sailors, it means that this particular sail we use when it's very light winds, uh, instead of the engine. So it, ju it gets you going just enough to make it worthwhile, which is uh, it's, it's a really good thing. And, it, and when you're using it, that means that it's uh, very flat calm because obviously the wind brings with it waves. So able to sail in a very calm ocean and it's, let's see, what superlatives have I used least amount today? Epic, it's epic. What have we got here? Nappy. Open it up. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> oh. You gonna show me how you put the blender away? You gonna it show me used to live under that seat and then you put your other stuff in there. I'm not finding it. I Tell just him. turned the audio off. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that belongs in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this just always seems to happen. We threw up the sails and almost immediately the wind shifted 40 degrees. So we're no longer headed on course at all. And Velocity made good, so the speed that we're headed on course and to our destination to our destination is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 of a knot. <laughs> it means we'd run out of, we'd be all dead. <laughs> we would die before we get there. We would die. Um, so what's the deal? We're gonna have, have to wind to turn in the some? engine on again. Booger. And um, do a dance. Okay. Sounds good. While he winds in the sails, I'm cooking dinner. We're having a rice with a bunch of vegetables um, and ginger. Really feel like some ginger. And our bok choy was looking quite sad. So basically I look in the fridge and whatever looks the oldest and saddest, I cook it up and eat it. Yeah, yeah, feed off the table. Oh, it's necesito. Oh. <laughs> What have I found here? So it's 5am and I've just jumped on shift. Poor Rowley's been up all night changing sails and we got the wind back so he's been sailing and I've been looking after Lenny. So he just, he sounded drunk just then when we said I love our I love yous and see you soon. <laughs> when he jumped into bed he just, I actually looked around for beer bottles. He seemed drunk but he's just super tired. Um, Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here and say thanks for watching and please like the video and join us tomorrow as we arrive in St. Augustine. Looking forward to getting there, I've heard it's a pretty cool place. Alright, say goodnight Lenny.